Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Megadena's Master Dennis Jones with GamerFusion.com and yeah, we are starting the raid episode. Yeah, you know the drill, last episode we did all the preparations that we possibly could with the amount of cash that we had and I'm really angry, or at least embarrassed, that the uh, thief got away on me. Sheesh. It took away $700 of our chingas that we need. We probably are going to need to, uh, you know, get and... Might have to redo the whole entire stage, and if that... If it ever comes to that, then we'll have to do it, I guess. Erg, but there's only 14 of these guys, so we should be able to take care of them pretty well. Already that cannon is firing pretty good attacks to our, uh, word, <laughs> to a grok over there, so that's good. Sheepers, that was not good, okay. There is somebody making their way to my town. It is a spring rock, and those guys are so annoying. Come on, roll. You don't you don't go very fast on your legs, little Dylan. These spring rocks can jump over the plateau, so if you see them on your on the stage. I'm going actually the long way. <laughs> but oh well, I should be able to get there before he does. I actually could have gone up to the top of the plateau. Hey, more of these. Let's pick them up for next day. They won't disappear until it's stay until after stage um, three. So let's just grab them. Oh, I'd be mad if I got into a fight there because. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go before he gets in. These spring groks are so annoying to battle too. I hate these spring groks with a ah, 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 ah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Because they always jump by me. And I can never really aim. There we go. Ouch. Ouch. There, that took care of him. <laughs> oh no, someone is coming to attack my iron tower. Okay, well, yep, uh, Gun Tower 5 is under attack. Well, you know what, I better go deal with him first. Shoot. Come on, Cannon, do your thing. You are in range, you should be... Actually, I should be using my claw attack. Come on. Claw attack! Claw attack! Claw attack! Sheesh! Oh! Where'd he come from? Dang it, dang it, dang it! There's another freaking guy near my village! No! I cannot... allow that. Unacceptable. We, I guess we're going to have to go heal the tower a after he, after my cannon can, come on. Seriously? Um, yeah. This is the LP curse. As soon as I'm recording. As soon as you start recording, that is the very moment you play badly. That is the very moment. Oh, now we have a new Grok called a Magma Grok on the field. Alright, he got rid of it for us. Good. That's what we wanted. Oh, I don't have enough cash to heal that tower. I just realized this now. Haha! <laughs> I 
actually I'm going the long way, only because I know there's Groks to fight. Oh, I guess a Grok must have just spawned over there. There we go, that's what I need. Grok Tower 3 is under attack. Well, you know what? There's nothing on it, so I don't care. Jimmy Crackcord and I don't care. Jimmy Crackcord and I don't care. Jimmy Crackcord and I don't care. There's nothing on that tower. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. Come on! There we go. Killed it! Finally! Oh, it's Watchtower. It's a Watchtower. Oh. Well, they're handy only because they tell us, can show us where the uh, Grok creatures are at. However, I don't have the money to rescue it. Oh great, a motorcycle Grok. And I know... Ah, Gun Tower 5 is under attack again. And Watch Tower 3 is down. Oh gosh. Yep, he's gone. Good job, Gun Tower number 6. Take care of things. Ouch! Seriously? Alright, there is a motorcycle grok that's coming up next. Those guys also bug the heck out of me. Only because they destroy your gates like nobody's business. Ouch. I know he's behind me. Just stand on the road. <laughs> That's right. Come to me. What? What do you mean the village is in trouble? There's nothing over at the village. What's at the village? Oh, there is a grok over at the village. I see it now. Arg. Okay, he's he's getting in. Okay, whatever. Fine, he can get in. I'm not going to be able to catch up to him in time. And even if I try... Yeah, he's getting in. He's getting in. We have 50, so we're okay. Yeah, he got in. <laughs> I just saw him. <laughs> Running. Okay, well, fine. Very well. Let us fall fine and dandy. Oh, a gold grok! Well, that's nice, but I have a couple of groks over here that are closer to the village that I need to deal with. Preferably the uh, other one. What's its name? The new fire grok that just barely showed up. Dude, you were supposed to, like, get hit by my claw attack, didn't you know? Don't you know? You are supposed to get hit by my claw attack, don't you know? Just kidding. Okay. What? You think you can get away from me that easily? <laughs> you think that was easy? Okay, so, um... This? Aw, oh, dang it. I thought that would be in range. You can put out their fire by doing a uh, an attack like that. The charge attack. Yeah, the charge attack helps you put out their fire, which is one of the quests that you need to take. Oh, spoilers. Okay, let's, let's see if we can't get that... Actually, the best way to go get that uh, golden grok is to go this way. Let's go this way and get the golden grok. We can deal with. We need money. We really do. We need money. So we need. We. Uh, 
you know, uh, dollar signs. Ah, oh, really? Is he gone? Ah, he missed it. Oh, but hey, I got some money from that. Okay, well, all right then, all right. Fair enough. Ouch! There's dollar signs still inside my eyes, I guess. Well, let's go deal with the last one, I guess. Unfortunate. But it's not bad. We only let one in, so... I'll know this. I think this is a good raid. Okay. And that takes care of the raid. So, yeah. <laughs> we have defended the village. Hurrah! I probably still should have made my long cannon instead of the cannon, but the cannon seemed to help. Still yet. Protect the uh, other tower that I'm trying to build. So next preparation day, you should be able to see what happens when we build a long cannon there. It's really handy. Anyway, you did a build today. You did there every day. Come here. Okay, let's see. He, he's got some really, oh, we got some gl new gloves and a bandana. Well, since we, hmm, this helps our charge attack, which is actually handy for putting out fires, so maybe we should get it, but it's $2,300. Uh, I don't have that kind of scratch. Um, and also the uh, new gloves are the Punisher gloves. Super hard metal plates discreetly sewn into the gloves help deliver merciless punishment to your foes. Oh, I need boots. Oh, excuse me. I need boots. So I better get, get better get those. So I guess I can't afford really much of anything else. I mean, claw attacks are good for getting the uh, fights done really fast, if you can pull them off. That's the issue. Well, I think I should get the next, the new bandana. And now I can't afford anything more than that. Do I need to eat? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, so we already started the... one. Mess it. Oh, hold on just a sec. Oh, my poor boy. He feels really depressed. Hi. There's only one thing that will cheer him up when he feels like this. Cactus lizards are perfect, but they thrive on cacti. I don't like to get stuck by cactus spines, so I, it would be impossible for me to get one. Please go and break some cacti and find a cactus lizard for my boy. Okay, we'll take on that quest. Now, the, in order to achieve this quest, you need to basically break every cacti on the level because it's ra it's random supposedly it's random and yeah unless it shows up in the same spot I showed earlier in the last preparation video where it's just a small little alcove where where it is but we'll see I think on day three I got it there when I practiced but I don't know if it's going to be a thing because apparently it's random roving reporter Rachel hot on the trail of an other story Fox News ha I heard that there is a way to put out the flames of a magma rock rocket they say it doesn't take items or towers just an action what could it be 
I would love to cover th this discovery. I already have the headline, Red Flash Extinguisher. Do you think you can make that story happen for me? Sure, for $200, $2,000, we can do that. But mind you, if we don't do any of these quests, we will have some issues. All right, let's rest up for the next day. Oh, you're back. And you didn't get burnt, did you? No, but we did get really dizzy from going around in circles all day. The local landscape around our village is on account of all the strip mining. It's hard work getting in and out, but that means it's easily defended. Well, we respectfully disagree. The spring rocks are, are great at leaping onto plateaus. Don't make the mistake of thinking that the rocks only come along the roads. If they overran the valley, we wouldn't be able to protect the towers or the village. Hmm, I see. That is a thorough appraisal. You sure saw... Uh, You sure have yourself a good partner there, Russ. Hey, he doesn't do all the work, you know. Uh, actually, I would like to go on record for saying yes. Yes, I do do all the work. <laughs> I haven't seen you do anything yet, Russ. Alright, and of course we are saving. And yeah, we will continue this... Stage 7, another day, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember that Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming, and we will see you next uh, on day 2 of Stage 7. So, bye bye for now. Leave the stylus there a little bit uh, longer. Ah, oh, shoot. Dude, you were supposed to, like, get hit by my claw attack, didn't you know?